On Friday, August 30th, officials from around the state gathered to honor San Cayetano Elementary for being awarded a NASA Explorer School. Superintendent Jeff Sweeney opened the dedication. Uh, I want to welcome you on behalf of the Fillmore Unified School District to this great festivity to recognize the energy and, and strength of an entire school coming together to develop a plan and send the plan in and take advantage of an opportunity through NASA to actually create opportunities for our kids that have never been here before. So let me start, first of all, start off by recognizing um, Jan Marhola and the staff from San Cayetano. Could you all stand and be recognized for your efforts? that the opportunities that have come from this, whether it's having engineers and scientists show up to work with our students or opportunities for our kids to connect via video conferencing to witness shuttles coming overhead or connecting points all over the world is an incredible opportunity for our kids, not only at this school, but again, the vision of Jan Marholan is to make sure that all of our schools within the district participate. So again, thank you on behalf of the district to Jan and all your energy that you put forward and tonight it needs a celebration, so congratulations. Ventura County Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Charles Weiss, joined the celebration. It's a great pleasure to be here. When I heard that San Cayetano School was selected as one of 25 schools in the nation, one of five schools in the state of California, I just had to be here to, to celebrate with you. Uh, it's great to be a national, Explorer School. Coming back here today, it's, it's always wonderful to come into Fillmore because in 1973, this was the first school that I worked in in Fillmore. And I came into that little office over there and worked with the principal, I think it was Don McBride at the time. He came in this room and worked with the teachers and students. And some of those teachers are still here, aren't you, Rosie? Yeah. yeah. any older, but you know, the school looks great. You now I, I wanted to be here to congratulate all of you. Um, San Cayetano School is a warm place in my heart and Fillmore as well, and I'm so glad that you got this great award. Just so you understand how elite this is, there are over 9,000 eligible schools just in California for this award, and you're one of five. Representatives from state and county officials recognized San Cayetano's achievement. It's a real pleasure to be here today on behalf of Congressman uh, to congratulate the teachers, the students, the parents of San Cayetano. I'm Assemblywoman Audra Strickland. Congratulations for this wonderful honor. And I would also like to wish you uh, good luck, congratulations, and also have fun with this project. Um, I have the honor of being here on behalf of County Supervisor Kathy Long, who is your supervisor for this area. And it gave me a great privilege to uh, be invited and participate in this ceremony tonight to offer congratulations to the supervisor. Michelle Davis, officer of NASA Pre-College Explorer Schools, provided an overview of the entire NASA course. Thank you. Um, I'd like to start by saying thank you for all of you, to all of you that are here, for welcoming NASA into your school and into your community. Mr. Cam Martin of NASA Dryden Flight Research Center started off with a quiz. Okay, anybody know? Okay, in the back, the four letters, N-A-S-A. National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Go to the head of the class. Woo! National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Does anybody remember the weekly reader? Show of hands, weekly readers? Okay. Well, what I brought here, it's a little too small for you to see, unless your eyes are really good, but this is the front page of my weekly reader when I was in first grade. I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but when I was in first grade, no astronauts had flown. Zero. It's easy to count. But on the, on the cover of my first grade weekly reader was the X-15. And it's in small words, so I'll read it to you. The X-15 is in the news. Pilots will go to space. They will fly the X-15. It is a rocket plane. And so that's my weekly reader from January, when we had no astronauts who had flown in space. 
I thought the X-15 was the world's greatest airplane. It is still the world's fastest airplane. I'd like to fast forward a few years, and I would like to show you my daughter's weekly reader from the same month, different year, same month. Her weekly reader has an astronaut in an extravehicular activity suit in a space suit on orbit doing work outside the space shuttle and her weekly reader read astronauts get warmer space suits space is far far above earth space is very cold astronauts work in space how do they stay warm a new kind of space suit helps it has special gloves and boots it will keep astronauts warmer than old astronaut space suits did so that was her weekly reader between my first grade class and her first grade class, we put 100 astronauts in orbit. So it was zero to 100. Why do I tell you that? When I was in first grade, we hadn't flown any astronauts any place. We hadn't even thought about going to the moon. President Kennedy hadn't made a speech about going to the moon. It wasn't NASA's job to go to the moon. We were going to fly this X-15 rocket plane up and down, and we were ready to be happy with that. And then we got a really big challenge. The reason I've connected the dots with those two weekly readers, by the way, my daughter is now a college freshman at the United States Naval Academy. She will watch something far different happen in her lifetime. You will watch something far different happen in your lifetime. And for the students here, here's my prediction for you. You will be able to say to your children, you know, when I was in first grade, no one had gone to Mars. Nobody had walked on Mars. And when you are talking to children your age, you will be able to tell them how many people have walked on Mars since you left the first grade. That is the power of inspiration because people my age who grew up watching the space program start are the people who are flying in the shuttle now and doing these spacewalks. People who are your age today are going to be the people who are walking on Mars. And that's why it is so important to understand why we emphasize in NASA the importance of science and math and inspiration and why these things matter.